Hello, Andy Reynolds, LiveMusicBusiness.com, and in this session, you're going to improve your show settlement sheet using advanced formulas. In a previous session, you used your spreadsheet program of choice to create a show report slash settlement sheet, and the screen shows what you should have come up with with the various text and formula. The idea is we use this sheet to give to the band's representative at the end of the night to show how many tickets were sold and how much is due to be paid to the band. Now, in terms of our contract, there may be extra money from the profit of the show. Unfortunately, the way we've constructed the sheet in the last session shows negative amounts. So, for instance, this show has only sold 100 tickets, therefore we've lost $1,000. Now, that's true and accurate, but in terms of working out percentage costs, we don't need to know that. We need that figure there to be zero to show no profit, and therefore the guarantee is payable. Likewise, Line 19 shows that we're actually paying the band minus $800. That is not correct. In this case, because the show has lost money, the promoter would be obliged by contract to pay the guarantee of $1,000, not minus $800. So we need to correct our formulas within the spreadsheet to show real world figures. At the moment, line 15 shows a formula of the total minus the cost from the contract. We want that cell to show zero if it is zero. We are therefore going to use this formula in that cell to show that if the figure is zero or less, the cell will only show zero. And this is an if formula from Excel, which basically says if something happens, then this is displayed. So I'm going to put it into the spreadsheet and then you can see how it works. So I've now typed in the formula to cell D15. This now shows that if the figure generated by the total minus the cost is less than zero, the cell will display zero. If it's more than zero, it will show the actual figure of the calculation, the total minus the costs. At the moment, we have a loss on the show. We only sold 100 tickets, which generated $1,000, but our costs are $2,000. So therefore, we've lost $1,000. But we don't want that cell to show that because that cell impacts upon what we actually need to give to the band. So that is good. We want that figure to be zero or above. If we did sell 500 tickets, as before, then that's accurate, that shows that our profit is $3,000. If we take it back to 100 tickets sold, the cell shows zero, which is what we want. There is no profit. We're not really interested in the fact that we've lost money, or obviously the promoter is interested in the fact that she's lost money, but in terms of the show settlement report, there is no profit, so therefore we don't need to calculate anything more to pay to the band. They will get paid the guarantee regardless, but there is no extra money in this case. So that cell showing zero is what we want. As you can see though, in the case of a loss, the cell that shows us actually how much we're actually going to give to the band is now wrong. It's reporting an error. So we need to correct that. And what we want to do is have that cell show if there is a profit, we want the cell to show 80% of that profit as per the terms of our contract. And if there is no profit, we want the cell to show the amount of the guarantee because that's what we're going to pay to the band. This line is what we're going to pay to the band. So it's going to be 80% of the profit, or if there's a loss, it's going to be just the guarantee. So let's put a formula in to calculate that. And this is the formula we're going to use to show on that line how much we're exactly paying to the band at the end of the night. And it shows that if, the, if there is a profit, and we times it by the percentage, but it's less than the guarantee, it will show the guarantee figure. If there is a profit, and we times it by the percentage, and it's more than the guarantee, it will show that split number. It will show that versus number, 80% or 50% of the profit. So let's put that into the spreadsheet and see how it works. 
So I've now put that formula into the cell which is going to show us how much we're actually paying to the band. And if you notice I've used the cells that I showed you how to create in the first session in order that you can just put the figures in once and then they'll be used throughout the sheet. So for instance this new formula which you can see in the formula bar references cell B4 which is our guarantee. So when you're entering your data for the show report you just put the guarantee whatever it is from the contract once into the sheet in that cell and then the formula will auto calculate based on that. The same with the percentage amount in D4 and so on and so forth. So our formula shows that our payment to the band will show the guarantee if there is no profit or if the profit is less than the guarantee and if it's more than the guarantee it will show the figure 80% of the profit. So I put in an example we can see from row 7 tickets were £10 we sold 250 tickets which gave us a gross ticket income of $2,500. Now our guarantee is $1,000 versus 80% after $2,000 costs. Those are the terms as per the contract. So our profit in this case, as we can see, is actually $500. Our total ticket sales were $2,500. Our costs from the contract with $2,000 giving us $500 in profit. But 80% of $500 is less than $1,000 guarantee. And so the cell D19 shows us that we have to pay the band at the end of the night $1,000, the guarantee. If we'd sold 500 tickets, we now have total ticket sales of $5,000. Our guarantee is still $1,000 and our costs from the contract are still $2,000. Our profit is now $3,000. The deal is $1,000 versus 80% of the profit after costs. And our profit after costs is actually $3,000. So we take our percentage amount, which in this case, according to the contract, is 80%. And 80% of $3,000 is $2,400. That's more than $1,000, so we pay the band $2,400 according to the contract. So one more time, if we'd sold 250 tickets, we haven't made any profit. Well, we've made $500 profit, but that's less than $1,000, so our sell how much we're actually going to pay to the band shows what we're going to pay to the band, which is $1,000 as per the contract. If we'd sold more tickets than that, say 500 tickets, we have broken percentage. We have sold more than the promoter based their costs on. There is a profit. The band gets 80% of that profit, which is $2,400. You now know how to use advanced formulas to create a better show settlement sheet and you can download the template from livemusicbusiness.com.